Okay, so I've got a really cheap hand plane that I spent a bit of time sharpening and tuning up. I don't need it, but I'm not gonna throw it away. But I really dislike these black plastic handles. So I'm looking at gluing up some timber and just trying my hand at uh, making a handle and tote. Um, so we'll use this, I'll use this piece here because this was a scrap piece of timber. Uh, basically why I want the full size is if you can see this line here, this line here, they're at 90 degrees to the bolt that'll go through. So to cut that easily and safely on the drill press, if I cut that off here and here after I glue these two halves together to get the width, I'll have a 90 degree angle to cut the hole. Then I'll shape it with some rafts and files and uh, and I'm not sure what else. We'll see what else I end up using. And we'll see how they turn out. Same thing for this. I'm gonna glue up a couple pieces of this stock. They'll be maybe, well, they're wide enough this way, but when I glue the two together, because this is three quarter inch, uh, I'm basically gonna lose a couple mil total. And that's all right. Um, my scrub plane is slightly smaller than this and it's fine and I'm happy with that. So we'll cut these on the bandsaw just because it's set up and, and it's gonna be quick. It doesn't have to be that accurate. I'm gonna use the bandsaw later, obviously, to cut out some of the shape. And we'll glue them up. And once the glue's dry, we'll uh, draw the holes and start shaping the handle and the tote. Okay, so we removed the clamps. I've given a quick drawing of this and again set up the whole angle to drill this and perpend on uh, 90 degrees to this. Take a square. That is this line here. And basically, cut that off, set this on the drill press. Also cut that. This will be flat and we'll be able to drill straight on the drill press. Uh, that's about six mil, a little bit less. My six mil bit obviously doesn't go through. However, solve the problem with that with a long auger bit. Definitely go right through and that'll be fine. And then uh, that's about 11 mil. We'll just countersink that in probably with uh, electric drill and by hand. And then same thing on here. Um, I'm gonna just flatten the end and then we'll use that as the bottom and we'll set the top height against this once we figure that out. And then we'll start shaping after we have the two holes drilled in. This I'm gonna shape roughly on the bandsaw then some files and rasps. This uh, might do the same thing just to cut away some of the quarters might just go straight at it with files and rasps. Okay, so I ended up squaring up a bottom on the miter saw just against one of the sides. Uh, that'll just make it flat to drill. We'll worry about the rest in a minute. These ended up being about 39 degrees. Did it on the bandsaw with a miter gauge and just gonna knock down some of these corners with the hand plane.
Thank you.